The best thing about Hot Tub Time Machine is its title. It's a shame the film isn't as fun. It's like someone has swept up all the footage on the cutting room floor of all the comedies from the last decade and spliced it together. Another comedy that feels the need to rely on sick, urine and shit jokes which aren't successful in the punchline to be called jokes. To go one further than that, they churn out the sexism and make reference to rape. <sighs> I'm rolling in my seat. The comedy that they get right is scarcely used, such as Craig Robinson stating it's a hot tub time machine whilst just looking at the camera so deadpan. See, you can do comedy without resulting in profanity. The film does pick up when they actually start playing with the idea of time travel and the butterfly effect, but by that point, it's just too late. This movie did make me realise how much I miss John Cusack, and the movie probably made John Cusack realise how much he misses the 80s. I don't think I was alive when he last had a popular hit. Cusack is about the only likeable character in this film, and the four of them just have no rapport. These are people that meant to have been friends for at least two decades, and it feels like they have known each other for a day. Casting Crispin Glover is a nice touch to anyone who likes a little bit of nostalgia. But then you can't help think you'd be better off watching that classic movie about time travel that isn't Hot Tub Time Machine. It isn't bad enough you want to travel back to a time when this movie didn't exist, but it's the kind of bad that if you were to travel forward in time, it would be a very distant memory to most. It would be like the movie never existed.